Hello everyone, we're here just to the north of London at Vicarage Road. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Watford up against West Ham United. Thanks Derek, well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, it's not fashionable, but 4-4-2 can still be a good system, both with and without the ball. Key to success today will be the wide players. They need to be the main creators. And a look at the West Ham 11. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. And the contest begins. Here's Juan Bissaka. Tote Antonio Gomes. And just hearing ball in the net at Stamford Bridge. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal from Manchester City. They've scored the opener here with only four minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Could be dangerous. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper, and the danger averted. Playing it in. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Mohamed Kudus. On to Paqueta. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Ball retention so important. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. And given acres of space to attack here. But it just petered out. And the corner has been given. And there's the delivery. Just the clearance that was needed. Shot attempted. And diving to thwart him. So the corner played into the box. Well, still an issue here. Just can't get it past him. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. It might still be problematic. Broadhead. Gardner 
And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. Good idea. Well, full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. Well, as you can see, it's been all Watford in the last 15 minutes and look like scoring every time they go forward. They do need to extend their lead, though, while they're playing so well. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Can he finish? And putting his body on the line. Very quick thinking there. Watkins. So getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Fox. Passing it around as the search goes on for an equaliser. Paqueta. They could level it. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Andrade. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Lombardi. Good tackle. And no more time left. That concludes the first half here at Vicarage Road. Not to be too blunt about it, Stu. And the match is... And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Right, I'm going to bring in Alex Scott because I'm hearing there's been a goal at Goodison. It's another for Leeds United. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 48 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's West Ham United facing Aston Villa. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Emmanuel Dennis. Can they convert? Ball is loose. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. West Ham couldn't keep it. And a goal update to bring you in the Palace game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Palace. It's now 1-0 with 59 minutes gone. Thanks as always, Alex. And they've given him too much space, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Cuts it back. No way through. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to the lead. Who can they pick out? Still not clear. But it just petered out. Oh, in with a chance! In it goes! Delighted!
wanted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. On to Juan Bissaka. Aguerd. David Raum. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Twenty minutes to go. And he's clear his lines. Edson Alvarez. Encouraging move from West Ham. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Played over. And making sure it wasn't problematic. High pressing and good high pressing. And a goal has gone in at Stamford Bridge. So with all the information, here's Alex Scott. And it's the second goal for Manchester City. They've pulled one back with 77 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well, it's ideal game management when you can pass the ball in this fashion. Tote Antonio Gomes. May and back with Alvarez so almost at full time and the home side very much in command Stuart what have you made of their overall performance yeah clearly the better side obviously being fantastic up front but it's their work ethic for me they're just not happy unless they have the ball and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it it's been a really great performance all round Plays it back. Well, not so fast. The referee says penalty and maybe a late glimmer of hope for them. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way and it ends up looking a very easy finish. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. De Luca. And fed back to the goalkeeper. And that will be that. It is now official. And it will go down as a positive result for Watford. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today. But overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. It's still alive. 